Hi everyone, I am back for activity 10, brine shrimp. I hope that your prep went well. I followed the prep that was in the user manual for the microscope. You can also use the prep that is listed here two to three days before your lab. I would say the important things and the important similar characteristics of both methods are the fact that you need to make sure that the salt is completely dissolved in the water before you put the brine shrimp in. You need to make sure that you have a place where the shrimp can be kept warm, which is an issue during the winter in cool houses. So if you can put it into a, or if you can put your beaker into a warmer bathroom or into some place, um, a warm bedroom at night, um, that will help you to hatch your shrimp. And it will also help to have a, um, a piece of paper over your beaker to prevent a lot or to um, minimize uh, evaporation, especially in dry houses over the winter. So that napkin is also very helpful as well. Um, other things that might help you, um, I think that um, I think that the bright light, also helps you having this near a window but near a window that is warm so um, i think that will help you as well with the prep when you are getting ready of course you are wearing and gowning up because this is um, a shellfish and i believe it's a shellfish um, brine shrimp and you could be allergic to it either way this is a protein that you probably haven't encountered a lot of maybe and you should be aware of your situation and gown up goggles gloves and your gown as well so when you're ready you will have your pipette in your beaker you will have your um, slide out and your cover slide and i will meet you on the other side so I decided that I'm going to add a few tips to help you with your hatching. And I, I came across these in exploring them. And it turns out that temperature is very important to hatching the shrimp. The shrimp can hatch completely in 24 hours if they're about 80 to 82 degrees Fahrenheit for their temperature. So to do that, you're going to need them under an incandescent light. Um, and what I found helps me is that I use one layer of a napkin, just one layer so I can allow enough light in and I put it under an incandescent light and I, I put it in, in a, um, beaker like this. And the reason I do that is because the shrimp eggs like to stay suspended. And so they like a cone and you can approximate a cone by putting it into a beaker, but do yourself a favor and swirl to get all of your eggs down into the water and then put it into the cone and then put it under the light so that it can be there for about 24 hours. I hope that will help you in getting your shrimp to hatch. It's not easy during the winter in cool houses, and this might help you to get them to, um, to hatch. When they do hatch, you will see them, and you will see dark spots in your, um, in your beaker. And I really suggest you get your magnifying glass out and look for them in there. You will see them moving and then get your pipette. And with your pipette, you should know that you're aiming for one of these guys that you're seeing there. So I didn't have too many shrimp. I could aim for my shrimp. So I partially filled my pipette by squeezing my pipette and, um, and that's my water. Um, squeezing my pet just, um, just a bit not a full squeeze and then going down and finding the guy that I wanted and then maintaining the squeeze on the pipette so that I'm not squeezing up a ton more fluid because I only want one drop on my slide. So a, a, a small squeeze down into the pipette, go find the guy, maintain the small squeeze and then come up to your um, slide and put it onto your slide. And then checked with your magnifying glass to make sure that the guy you wanted is on your slide. And then get your um, then get your cover slip 
and the beautiful 45 degree angle. All right. When this goes down, now this is the pièce de résistance for your microscopy lab because you're going to have to follow this guy all over the uh, all over the slide. So you're going to have to know how to orient yourself. Go moving left, moving right, moving up, moving down um, under the 4x, and you will use the 4x um, objective with the um, with the compound light on the bottom. All right. So draw what you see and enjoy and make sure that you clean up well and these shrimp are non-native species so please don't just pour them down the toilet um, either feed them to some aquarium fish that you have i'm sure they'd love them um, or make sure they go into the disinfectant solution that you prepared for the moldy bread or you can freeze them overnight and then um, and then throw them out all right. So be responsible with that and enjoy the lab. Enjoy the tips that I gave to you. And um, I hope that will help you out. I also, last tip, I also um, think that these directions are probably better than the directions in the user manual. So um, mine hatched with the user manual directions, but I think these directions are better and put it under a light with just a minimal of a very thin paper coat, like a tissue paper coat, put it under a light at, at least for the first 24 hours and make sure you can get this as warm as you can, like 82 degrees under that light. So um, also make sure that you have that cone effect by putting it and laying it one beaker into the next so that the um, the cyst eggs can um, can float a little bit more easily than they can on a flat bottom beaker. I hope that helps you out and have fun. Take care.